that there's a new startup called Inception Labs, which has come up with a groundbreaking model, which is based on diffusion models for language rather than based on traditional autoregressive models. And their tweet has got over 1.3 million views. Let's look at the video that they have shared in the tweet. On the left is the autoregressive model, which is turning out the code to write a function for LLM inference. And on the right is the diffusion that is far faster and it has done it in 14 iterations compared to over 70 iterations for the large language model. Let's look at the animation again. Write a function for LLM inference. The diffusion model is done. Autoregressive model has gone through 75 iterations. If we visit their website, they're saying that they're introducing a new generation of large language models. It's got breakthrough in speed, efficiency and accuracy. So let's look into what they are telling more about their model. They're saying that they are introducing the first diffusion large language models and the diffusion large language models provide unparalleled speed, improved efficiency and enhanced quality. And this is the metric that they are talking about. So it's five to 10 times faster than traditional LLMs. It's five to 10 times cheaper than traditional large language models when it comes to efficiency. And in terms of quality, they are telling the model size with the same latency and cost. If we visit chat.inceptionlabs.ai, they are asked to either sign up or log in. So I'm going to sign up. But once we have logged in, one of the first things we'll notice is that on the top right, we can see this diffusion effect, which is going to display the animation representing the text diffusion process. So I'm just going to enable that. And they've also given some suggested prompts. I'm just going to choose the first one and ask implement the game snake. That is really fast. We can see how fast the outputs are churned out and I'm able to literally just play it. So the next prompt that I'm going to try is write a simulator for five ball bouncing. This prompt went viral a few weeks ago. So let's find out how it does with this. Again, it's churning out text or code like crazy. And on the right, we can see a bug free animation of five balls being bounced in four walls. We don't have any problem with that. And the model they are introducing is Mercury, the first commercial scale diffusion large language model. And they have trained diffusion large language models that are up to 10 times faster and cheaper than traditional auto regressive models, pushing the frontier of quality and speed for large language models. And if we look at their blog, it starts with the comparison video that we saw in the tweet, which shows the number of iterations for both the standard autoregressive LLM and also the diffusion LLM that they are proposing. In terms of the performance, we can see the right is the output speed and only Mercury Coder currently is at the top right, along with Mercury Coder Mini. But all of the models, which are including DeepSeq and GPT-4 O Mini and Claude 3.5 Haiku, are all on the left, which is less than 500 tokens. But when it comes to Mercury Coda, we can see that it's well about 700 tokens. Let's actually look at some of the numbers. In terms of the throughput, we can see that Mercury Coda Mini is generating 1,100 plus tokens per second and Mercury Coda Small is generating over 700 tokens per second. That is in comparison to all the state-of-the-art models, which is Gemini Flash Lite, Claude 3.5 Haiku, GPT-4 Mini, Quen Coda, and DeepSeq Coda V2 Lite. The fastest is the Quen 2.5 Coda, which is 207 tokens per second, but these guys are over 700 tokens per second. And that doesn't come with a compromise on the performance or the accuracy, as we can see in the human eval, Mercury Coda Mini is 88 and the Coda Small is 90. That's on par with Gemini 2.0 Flashlight, which is also at 90 and also on par with Quen 2.5 Coda 7 billion parameter, which is at 90. So they have also given the side by side comparison, which is very nice. They've asked a prompt to, to write a detailed guide or to object oriented programming. Mercury has already completed in six seconds while ChatGPT and Claude are still writing it, churning out the code and ChatGPT seems to have taken 36 seconds versus Claude, which has taken 28 seconds. So clearly what sets the diffusion large language models apart is their speed. On a standard commodity H100 NVIDIA GPUs, the speed of the previous models or the competitive models is 200 tokens per second, but Mercury Coda is able to churn out 1000 tokens per second. The throughput achieved by DLLMs was only achievable before using Grok or Cerebras 
and Sambanova. Their algorithmic improvement is orthogonal to hardware acceleration and speedups would compound on faster chips. What they're meaning is that unlike other models which are speeded up by you know a very powerful GPU, their improvement is algorithmic. For a fixed GPU of the same size, they're able to achieve a speed that is significantly, in fact, 20 times speed up compared to the state-of-the-art models. So let's give it a spin. I'm going to get a bit ambitious and I'm going to ask to create the Mario game, create the Super Mario game. Let's see what it does. It's churning out code pretty fast and it's come up with this code. The code sets up a basic game window with a white square that represents the player. The player can move left, right using the arrow keys and jump using the up arrow key. Fair enough. This is just a starting point. Create a full game like Super Mario requires a lot more detail and complexity, but this should give you a good foundation to build upon. So I'm going to copy paste this and then see if it runs seamlessly. So I have created a virtual environment called Mario and I've created a folder and put the code that it churned out in a main.py and I just ran it using Python main.py and it's given this window in which you know there's this white box and I'm able to jump using up, up key and I'm going to move left and right. So this resembles a Mario moving around and that runs without bug seamlessly. For the next prompt, I'm moving on to writing HTML and asking write a HTML page with a single button at the center. If I click on the button, it should rain random stars. So let's find out the answer or the page that it turns out. The coding is pretty fast and there's a button that it has generated and this seems to be a HTML page. Let me click on it and we're getting stars, we're getting tiny white dots, but they're not like moving around randomly, but they're just like coming up as horizontal dots. It has come up with a HTML page and it seems to work. I'm just gonna try to modify that. I'm just gonna ask modify the HTML page, the stars move in 2D. Certainly to make the stars move in 2D space, we can modify the CSS and JavaScript. And it has given us this, and it's given the explanation. And I'm gonna click on start stars rain and it's coming up with this random white dots which are appearing all over the place so that's very nice i'm quite impressed with the initial testing of this one i can't wait to see what this guys come up with in the next versions let's wait and find out if the diffusion models is the future of large language models until then i'm signing off and i will see you in my next video take care